Hi there. Do you ever find that you go to look into a session that you uh, are working on and you're trying to upload a plugin to use it on a channel and you have some universal audio plugins and when you click on it, it ends up opening five screens of plugins that you don't own? In this video, I'm going to show you how to go into your settings and well, it's not so much going in your settings, going in through your files, deleting all of the demo ones that are showing up in your session when you don't own them. This is a very annoying feature that Universal Audio has not fixed. I don't know why they do it. They do it basically to put all of them in your session to either demo or look at to kind of tempt you into buying them. So I think that's kind of stupid. Um, we're gonna go in and figure out how to delete all the ones that are showing up that you don't own so that they don't show up in your session when you're working on it and kind of cluttering all your plugins. So let's crack into it. All right, so for example, we're gonna show you, this is what happens when I only own a handful of UA plugins, right? I go, cool, I'm gonna go down Universal Audio, boom. Do you see how fucking annoying this is? Universal Audio, what are you doing here? Like, why are you doing this? You need to stop. So let's figure out how to stop this. This is ridiculous. Okay, so for different DAWs that you use, Pro Tools mainly, for the one I have, I think the only way to, to get rid of showing all the plugins I don't even own is to go into the settings in Pro Tools and deleting in a file the the actual like files for each plugin. So I would have to go in and delete all those. And, the, and the, the shitty thing about it is I have to sit there and go through and figure out what the ones I do own and then highlight all the ones I own and then delete all the other ones. So this is really annoying. Apparently online, what it says for, for Logic Pro, you can actually go into the settings on the plugin manager and uncheck the plugins you don't wanna see. So that's another laboratus. Laboratus? laborious uh, kind of thing you have to do, which is just stupid. But um, also it says export a system profile or use UA console to hide plugins you don't want cluttering your DAW. So apparently I think you can use the console, rename the extension of the powered plugins directory and the VST directory to prevent them from being picked up in the plugin detection process. So that's also another thing. You can literally go in and c copy all the, um, the plugin files you want and move them to a different folder or I guess you would um, just delete them. So let's uh, let's get into this. Okay, so I'm updating my console for UAD. Um, so the one thing I'm gonna do right here, it says send feedback. This is what I'm gonna do right here. Summary, your plug, your plugin, your plugins show when I don't own. And I'm gonna type right here. Hey, so, I understand, I understand your tactics as far as marketing and selling. Oh, it closed. Conspiracy, conspiracy. Oh no, it's just telling me to update. That's funny. I was like, uh oh, uh oh, it's like, don't. It knew I was giving it bad feedback. For this instance in Pro Tools, to get rid of the AAX files, you're gonna have to go to program files on your hard drive, your main hard drive, where everything is, and then go to common files. Right here, you're gonna go to common files. And then from common files, you're gonna go to Avid. And then from Avid, you're gonna go to audio. And then from audio, you're gonna go to <laughs> plugins, right? And then you're going to go to Universal Audio. Type in U. So right here. Look at all these different. Right here. So here's a bunch of different um, instances. And these are all the plugins I own. So all the ones you own should be right here on the main plugins folder. So if you click into the one that says Universal Audio, this is going to show all of right here all of the ones i don't own tube tech plugins this 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 so from here right local disk program files common files avid go into the audio and then into the plugins and then you find the actual universal audio plugin folder so what you're going to do right here which should be the trick you should be able to just go like this hit delete 
delete the file. See all the ones I have right here are right here. So when you exit out of this and you open Pro Tools again, let's reopen Pro Tools. So we're just gonna open up a regular session and we're gonna go right here. I'm gonna go to the mix thing. All right, so now hopefully go to multi-channel plugins, right? I can stay on there. Now we go to universal audio, see? And then right there, as you can tell, now it's only showing all the plugins I own instead of flooding, flooding all the plugins I don't own into my uh, plugin screen. Look at how, look at how clean this is. Look at this, look at how clean. So the other thing to do if you were trying to get rid of VSTs or 32-bit, 64-bit, whatever, or RTAS, there's a couple different um, ways of getting to the file. So for like, um, for VSTs, you would go to the program files again, and then you'd go to Steinberg VST plugins and then power plugins. And then it says for VST 32-bit, you would go to program files in parentheses x86. Steinberg VST plugins, powered plugins, because Pro Tools is only AAX. They have their own form that you, for the plugins that the makers use AAX format to put in Pro Tools. So VSTs don't open inside of Pro Tools, unfortunately, from my knowledge at this point. There is a plugin I highly recommend if you want to open up VSTs. Inside of Pro Tools, there's a plugin I own called Nyugan Audio. You go down to N right here and you go to Sig Mod. This is a plugin that I highly recommend because you can literally go right here. Close that right here. Go like here. Boom. Look at right here. Browse. Or you could browse plugins or you could scan them. But right here, I already have every plugin that's a VST. It's scanned through my whole computer. So like right here, I have all these Waves waves plugins you can run to. I mean, they're, they're, they're already in AAX format, but I have a couple other ones that don't open up. So yeah, basically this is a cool alternative to opening VSTs. Not that th this is what I'm talking about in the video, but just wanted to mention for some advice. Now you can audio. So if you want to open up VSTs in Pro Tools. Um, but yeah, so that's mainly in Pro Tools. Um, for other DAWs or for Mac, I don't really know because everything I'm reading was just based off PC. Um, and or I'm sure it's the same thing in Mac. You just go into the settings, find where your plugins folder is, and then just delete all the ones that show up, that throw it all in there that you don't own. So there you go. That's how you basically get rid of, um, all the plugins that you don't own showing up from universal audio in your DAW on Pro Tools and or other DAWs that you may use. Uh, make sure to give us a follow on our social media websites. Uh, make sure to subscribe down below um, and make sure to check out our other videos. We have some other cool videos that we've done. Um, I appreciate your time and I hope you have a great day.